Hey gang, Jack Lair here. I've started playing uh, WoW again and decided to show you a quick walkthrough of what happens when I log on and go through my garrison. Uh, I always start in the, in the town hall here and I start with the garrison missions. Now I use an add-on called Master Plan and what it does is it streamlines this interface so if you don't use it you won't see the interface that you do here. Uh, what this does is it goes through and it makes everything a lot easier to use in the system. Uh, some people think it takes the fun out of it, but I like the speed of it. So what it does is you saw me autocomplete all of my missions at once, all of my stuff went into my inventory, and now what I'm doing is I'm looking at the missions that I have available. What Master Plan does is it does a, a few things. One, it shows you all of the things in order, what you need to complete them, and it also automatically tries to fill it for your success. So it basically takes the three most likely or two most likely or one most likely person and says, okay, we can finish this 100%. Uh, we'll get 14,000 experience. Or you can also set it to show experience per hour so that that way if you're uh, playing one character a lot and you want to go through and say, okay, well, if I send somebody on this hour and a half mission, it's actually going to get me more experience per hour than if I did it a different way. So what I'll do is I'll go through, I'll do that, and then I'll come in here and I'll say, okay, what can get me the most experience? And then I'll fill it out with the other things that'll get me items. Now, from there we move on out into the courtyard. And I have a few different uh, things going on here. I have a trading post, that's how I get my supplies. I have an engineering place, I have the... I what it's called, the Ironworks is what I call it. Uh, and then I have, uh, of course, my herb garden and my mine. Now I always like to start at the mine, uh, just because uh, I've been a miner and an engineer for a long time. So I always come here and go through here. I'm in uh, Retribution Paladin, so that's why everything looks weird. But there are two things that I use. Uh, one is the pickaxe, and the other is the miner's coffee. Now the pickaxe makes you mine faster, the coffee makes you run faster inside your garrison mine. Now I've found that I can get away with if I drink one coffee and then get through the initial entranceway here and then maybe one of the three tunnels and then drink more coffee. The coffee will last the entire time I'm down here. Uh, I don't drink a lot of the coffee because you don't get a lot. The mining cart that you just saw, that's where the coffee comes from. So you'll find mining picks, coffee, letters to sell, uh, archaeological parts, and I basically just do a circuit. There are three different tunnels. I just turn down the right one, go through all that, and then make a loop, go through the second, and then go through the third, and then head back up. Now you may have noticed that there are rats down here, and every once in a while, if I'm in a hurry, I will use my judgment to trigger the running even faster, uh, because I have the perk, I forget, or the talent, I forget what it's called, but that will allow me to run through this even faster, because I can just target one of the rats, use judgment on it, and then I'm moving at 30% faster, I believe. Maybe it's 20% for the first one. But there are enough rats where I can keep ju using judgment on them and just cruise through it. Once we're out, I always come to this guy first, the Drenic Stone, turn it in, and he'll make more stuff. And then I'm, I've already picked up the stuff on the way in, so I'm good there.
Next, I go to the herb garden. The herb garden's right around here. And there are uh, just random herbs that grow in here. Or at least as near as I can figure, they're random. Uh, you, you don't have to have the herbing skill or the mining skill to use these things in the garrison, which means that you constantly have a slow influx of herbs, and that'll help out later on when we get to the, the trading post. There are also, over in the upper right-hand side of the screen, you'll see that there are apples and bananas. And this tree drops fruit. Sorry, those are cherries. Really big cherries. Uh, and what they do is that they're basically uh, just normal food in the game uh, if you sit and eat them. And they each have different buffs that go along with them. So they may raise your uh, critical attack. They may raise your haste. Just depending on what fruit has dropped that day. Today we've got cherries and bananas from the same tree. I don't ask. It's magic. So your herb garden doesn't have to grow the same thing every day. What you can do is you can talk to Naren here, and I grow a variety of things. You can also choose to have uh, a, a specific herb grow if you want to do it. Uh, like, for instance, if you need uh, the, the frost weed, or whatever it's called, you can have her choose it here. And then the next day, only those will grow. Now, you can only do this once per day, as far as I remember, because when it resets, whatever setting you have going, uh, it'll hey give there. you that. Now, here's where you turn in the seeds, and then this <laughs> makes this work order go. Uh, I'm not an herbalist, good so I only ever have just a little bit of work order going here. And then from there, I move on over to the trading post. So the way the trading post works is that you give them stuff and they give you garrison supplies. Welcome, and then there's uh, Portanus out here who will take your supplies and then give you other stuff back. So for instance, I like to buy the smuggled sack of coins, gives you about 15 gold coins. Just when I think I'm going to hit the limit that I How have for you? garrison resources, I'll go ahead and do that. So here's where you turn in the work orders and uh, today they want fish. I don't have enough fish, See so I'm just going to skip it and then do it tomorrow when it'll be something else. Now, as far as I can tell, once again, this is random, and it just shows up different things. I've had to give them everything from herbs to ore, uh, but now we'll move on to what I call the ironworks. Uh, what this does is it gives you uh, the, the iron horde scraps. It also gives you Great weapon upgrades and occasionally other stuff. We're gonna go ahead and talk to her because she will give us, uh, if we turn in scraps to her, she will give us either a, uh, a weapon upgrade or an Welcome. armor upgrade, and it's our choice. So once again, we're just gonna go through here. They want Iron Horde scraps, and then we're gonna have to choose which one we want. Now I want weapons because the, I think See the only soon. character I have left that is upgrading has weapons. So they give you a random one, you right click on it, and then it turns into either a uh, three, six, or nine item level upgrade. So we got we got a green one, so I believe that's three. And then here we come up here, we talk to. Well met. Keep nope, they on moved the around. Behind me. There we go. How so they you? move around quite a bit in here, but you can turn in garrison resources, and then they will go ahead and make the, the scraps Same for you. Travel. You also pick up scraps in dungeons and. All kinds of other places. All right, here we are at the engineering hut. Now, this gets makes gear spring parts for even non-engineers. I don't know why you would want it, but you can do that. Uh, I also take this time to make my own gear spring parts, which is what everything engineering-wise is made of. You turn in ore here, and then they give you gear spring parts along with occasionally sorceress fire. Uh, I believe Sorcerer's Air can come out of it as well, but I'm not 100%. And this person, uh, Kimsey, also sells little trinkets and toys. And those basically work the same as uh, other engineering tools do. Have a good one. 
So now having done everything, we've got a bag full of stuff. We go over here to the storehouse. I deposit all the reagents, all the stuff that's useful in crafting. And then I'm going to come over here to the salvage yard. Now the salvage yard, uh, you can repair, sell things, For the uh, buy the handful of things you just saw from uh, Hennick here. And the other thing you can do is you can also get uh, the bag of salvaged goods and the box of salvaged goods, or the crate rather. And then what that does is it opens up and a lot of times you'll get junk. Every once in a while you'll get items. Now the items are random. Um, there are, I've gotten everything from uh, gear that my character could use when he was initially 100 all the way to a level 12 mace, I think I got not too long ago. Oh, there it is. And there's only one thing left to do, and that's go down to the docks. Now the docks are situated behind your garrison town hall. Uh, I can fly now, so I don't have to walk around anymore. I just fly over the back and land out here. Now I'm not gonna go over how to build the ships and all of the other things that this can do. Uh, basically, we're just going to go ahead and it's another mission table and then you click on this and you complete the different quests. Now I'm just clicking through because I didn't really get anything aside from money. And there are different kinds of missions. There are the navigation missions, there are treasure missions, there are uh, the little anchors are I believe just exploration missions. And then there are the cross swords which are combat missions. Now, right now, I need to do treasure missions, so I'm just doing the treasure missions that um, I know I can. Once again, Master Plan helps out here, and that it lets me know what ones I can do and what ones I can't very easily. And that's the end of the garrison. From here on, I'll just go back, and then now I can do whatever quests I want. Uh, it takes me about half an hour, uh, faster if I'm really pushing it. All right, I hope you've enjoyed this uh, brief little glimpse into uh, WoW, and thank you very much for watching, and as always, may the light guide your path.